Hi, this is Mark the Mesel. My last video was at the end of uh, 2013, uh, where I warned about a Bitcoin correction. Uh, Bitcoin was around $1,000. I thought it could go up to $3,000, but I also realized that um, it may not, and um, uh, that it would very likely uh, correct to 400, 500 um, after that. And um, we are now uh, the end of February and uh, indeed um, the price actually did not go up to 3000, it did not even go up to 1500. Uh, it actually started, uh, it ha had started already its correction, the peak was 1200. Since then it has been going down, um, first to uh, around 500, 600, then uh, um, around, it was around 800 for a, a month or two and then now uh, it has gone uh, down again uh, to around 400 um, yesterday or two days ago on the really bad news about Mongox um, that um, cannot um, get access to their 750,000 bitcoins uh, that they lost. So um, that's pretty bad, and uh, uh, but uh, you know um, uh, what negative news uh, comes does not matter. It is a f just normal that you have a price correction after Bitcoin went from basically a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Of course, it corrects to five hundred dollars um, for a while. Um, so in my opinion, this is absolutely a buy opportunity. It can always go lower. Currently, the 200 day moving average is around $400. We are now again at almost $600. Of course, I'm talking bitstamp prices as I have been doing since I started recording these videos in the middle of 2013. I have warned against Montgox not being a serious exchange from uh, in different videos i have talked about counterparty risk uh, and um, about div diversification and uh, of course i myself followed that i did not lose a single coin in mongox because i don't keep coins in an exchange uh, it is so easy to withdraw your coins to the uh, to a, a much more secure account being of course blockchain.info which is just an easy online wallet where you can store your bitcoins and where you know that the owners of that uh, online wallet do not have access to your bitcoins because they do not own the private keys this is a great innovation huh? you don't have to go all complex uh, with uh, armory offline wallet uh, or paper wallets uh, where you you are indeed the only one who has your private key and so uh, you do you are the only one who um, owns the coins that's true but it's complex a much easier way is just open an account with blockchain.info and because the way it works is that their keys um, um, or actually uh, encrypted your private key eh, is uh, on your on, on your browser and before it is sent to their servers it is encrypted with your password and so they only have a file uh, that is encrypted that contains the private key this is the cat that is not enjoying this video um, but um, uh, they, 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 they do not. Uh, they should. Uh, they, they, they. What blockchain.info needs to do is crack your uh, file, uh, and for that, if your password is long enough, uh, it would take millennia. Um, of course, they could also fool their users by um, uh, changing their code and um, um, making it so that instead of sending them an encrypted private key you send them just the private key without encryption um, but for that um, uh, and, uh, and, and of course if they would do that they would be able to steal a lot of coins before it would be noticed and that's true so it's not ultimate secure security but it is uh, like <laughs> If you compare costs, eh, 
because it's all of course you can do everything very secure but what's the cost eh? the cost is very high for bitcoin to store uh, to start offline wallets uh it is not uh intuitive at all and so um unless you have the amount of bitcoins that is so high that you would um um really um uh that it would be a disaster for you if you lose that um a blockchain.info wallet is a really good solution um but my, me myself actually i started with blockchain.info wallet and um uh, but once it had uh, tenfold uh, i also started um using uh, uh, the very secure um armory wallet uh, of course uh, that is an offline that also has an offline option so my coins are indeed stored offline eh? and even if blockchain.info uh, would prove to be fraudulent uh, then um, then i still have my coins but that's for my big savings account uh, of course i do have uh, coins on blockchain.info because they have a great android wallet uh, where i just can pay in shops everywhere i even pay from home with my phone uh, i just scan uh, the code uh, the qr scan and uh, i pay and so i i always have my spending account at blockchain.info wallet still and i will keep so so um um that's um uh, current price uh, so 200 day moving average is around 400 uh, current price is around 600 but actually sorry uh, 200 day moving average is around uh, close to 500 uh, so let's say 460 i'm just guessing here uh, it's a few days ago i checked but um uh, recently on bitstamp yesterday the price has bottomed out around 400 dollars which was below the 200 day moving average and um, uh, that has happened also in 2013 uh, when the price went from $10 to 266 dollars then it corrected uh, to 50 dollars uh, but basically it almost never went below the 200 day moving average only once or twice uh, and uh, after that it went straight up uh, so um, it can go again below the 200 day moving average but in the meantime the 200 day moving average continues to go up so i think that we uh, may have seen the bottom but it may also take another month uh, and we may still uh, hit again 400 dollars but i would not bet uh, on that so now is the time to start thinking about what if bitcoin 10 falls from here do i have enough bitcoins and of course as always what if bitcoin goes to ten dollars again uh, do i have um uh, will i survive that uh, because um although chances are very low it is theoretically possible that um the western governments uh, illegalize bitcoin which would i think uh, cause a crash uh, that would be really deep temporary but still it would happen i think ten dollars could be hit at that point so um, um but if we look at the facts how western governments are responding uh, that is very good um, um multinational companies are adopting bitcoin uh, overstock.com is the last one um uh, it's being adopted uh, more and more um, um, in Belgium where I live uh, pizza.be uh, adopted, adopted it recently so I just can order online uh, my delivery goods that's the biggest delivery site in Belgium uh, just with Bitcoin uh, it works perfectly um, so uh, adoption is happening and Western governments are not uh, clamping down on it of course on on the on the things that are regulated like um uh black markets they clamp down on um uh, online um uh exchanges um uh, that do not have licenses they clamp down on but actually they approve until today of bitcoin itself in contrast to china and russia who have actually um uh, china has um outlawed uh, Bitcoin for the financial sector uh, and um, but on the other hand has actually approved 
of private citizens buying and selling it for their own account, which is actually, I think, good enough. Eh? It's not perfect, would have been better if they did not ban it for the financial sector, uh, but um, still, um, it's good enough. Russia, on the other hand, has actually threatened private users that use Bitcoin that they will be suspect. Uh, and so uh, that's really negative. If that would happen worldwide, then I think Bitcoin will have a serious correction. I'm sorry, just a moment. So, yeah, the cat is sometimes asking for attention. So, um, um, Bitcoin price, um, yeah, all is good there, uh, I think. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to add about that. Um, I think uh, uh, I'm going to make another video now about... Um, uh, my portfolio also another video about next a new cryptocurrency cryptocurrency and um and also um uh, of course about gold and gold mining stocks an update um and um the permanent portfolio i like to talk about from time to time too um so um see you in the next video Thanks for watching.